When acclaimed film director Ziad Dueri was ordered to appear before a military tribunal in Lebanon, it was, for him, a severe shock. His latest film, The Insult, a courtroom drama filmed in Lebanon that explores simmering tensions throughout Lebanese society, hasn't just garnered raves, it has also been selected by Lebanon's Ministry of Culture as its official entry for this year's Best Foreign Language Film Oscar race. I was so upset, I was so humiliated, not by the authorities. The Lebanese authority, whether yesterday at the checkpoint or whether today in court, they were fantastic. They behaved in a very calm way, very respectful way. I felt humiliated by those who are trying to stop filmmakers from doing his work. Dueri, a dual Lebanese-French citizen, says he was detained due to a complaint being lodged against him for filming part of his previous film, 2012's The Attack, in Israel. Lebanon bars its citizens from travel to Israel. So when news emerged that Dueri had filmed there, the attack was banned from release in Lebanon, and many conservative citizens demanded the director apologize. While the Lebanese government has not commented on the complaint that landed him in court, the director says the case against him has now been dropped and he's ready to move on. We're happy when we make movies that gets to be seen everywhere. And then suddenly, people, they, people who do not like what I do, or people who feel threatened by the subject that I talk about, they don't want it to come out, but it's coming out. Dueri's supporters, however, are outraged by how he's been treated. We're in Lebanon. We're not in the surrounding countries. We live here in Lebanon. We have freedom of expression and we have our rights. Because Lebanon is one of the most permissive and liberal countries in this region, it can come as a surprise to outside observers when works of art are censored here. Now, sometimes it's the content that's to blame, books or movies that contain scenes considered to be too adult in nature. But when it comes to one particular type of work, there are no questions. Anything coming from Israel, a country that Lebanon is still at war with, is banned. Just last week, while Dueri, his cast and crew were being celebrated at the Venice Film Festival, an Israeli film, Foxtrot, was also being awarded. It has since been slammed by Israeli officials for what they consider to be a negative portrayal of the Israeli army. Another indication of just how sensitive the job of an artist can be in the Middle East. The big question now, the reaction of Lebanese audiences to the insult upon its release later this week. Not just how many people will see it, but perhaps more importantly, how they will view it. Mohammed Jamjoum, Al Jazeera, Beirut.